Jesus people redeem us from what the curse that we were born into and if anyone should say you know what I want perfect but then you make God a liar the word of God say all are fall short of the glory of God everyone none of us was born perfect so the minute you say you're born perfect well like you go to prayer and you say Lord well I don't do nobody nothing Lord but people Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Go before God. Don't go justifying yourself. Go before God and say, Lord, Lord, I repent for everything that I know about, Lord, the things that I do not know about. Lord, I'm sorry. I repent. Don't go justifying yourself. But Lord, you know, I always, you know what I mean? Come on, stop that. Stop that. If you go before God like that, and you start like that, now. Nah. Go before God, identify Lord Jesus. I am not perfect just like everybody else, not perfect, but Lord, I am hurt, I feel pain, Lord. I need you. I need you, Lord. Lord, change me. Lord, change people. Change people, those that attack me, Lord, change them. Don't go pray for them to them now. Please, don't do that. Because the word of God says, if you murder, you will be murdered. If you curse, you will be cursed. Don't do that. Because your prayer will not be answered. You want you want to ask God for a blessing, but before you ask God for a blessing, you say, Lord, the people down the road, they them so you know what I mean, and Lord, why you just wipe my roll and come on? No, don't do that. Go before God and say, Lord, watch pray for them. Pray for them. I shared testimony and went to New York. And my training is I went then well, I keep going going back on and forth. And I said, Lord, certain people just move them now, Lord. Move them now. And in New York, I went in New York and I prayed for God to remove certain people right around. And the Lord said, Why did I put them around you? So that you could pray for them instead of asking me to move them. And the Lord just revealed it to me, if I move them from around you and I, I anointed you to pray for them and to, you know what I mean, and to set them free through the power of the Holy Spirit. But then, what is the use that I anoint you? What is the use? And you know when I started praying for them? Is then God started doing all the work. Because I was for God and not against God. You see, God is for us and not against us, everybody. You don't go out to deal with your situation. Pray for somebody else's situation. In the midst of your turmoil, in the midst of your pain, while you are going through, tell what? Pray for somebody else's one. And God will look at your heart as He always do. He look at you over inside and not just over inside, outside. He would look at our heart and he would know that in spite of what you went through, you see, in spite of what Job went through, he was still rebuking his wife. For him. He was still telling his wife, foolish woman, when she said, You was you pray day and night and you do this and you do that. And his wife was telling him, Look at you, you're full of boils and sore, you're full of sickness. Job! Tell his wife. He rebuked his wife. Because why? Job knew his God. Job knew his God. Job knew. At that time of pain and trouble and turmoil, if he had already opened his mouth and started, you know what I mean, speak against God, even though he had, a, he had a dispute with God, because you know when pain and things really, you go through the human nature, you know we grumble, we complain. But when all is said and done, Everybody, when all is said and done, Job knew who his God was. When you know who your God was, when you be, when you see yourself like in the last little bit, and you say, Lord, I've been praying all the time, but I'm seeing myself dying, Lord. Lord, this, Lord, I'm my last breath, Lord. Lord, man, give up on me, Lord. Lord, doctors, give up on me, Lord. Hey, is there where Jesus come? 
and he demonstrate and he show out and he show off his powers. So that no man will get the glory, but God will get the glory. Everybody, I'm sure everybody reach a point in their life sometimes when they feel they're really, they're really kind of last stage. And God just come and pick you up and lift up your spirit. Because you saw yourself when your spirit was backsliding, before anything happened in the physical, it happened in the spirit. You find your spirit was being backsliding, you was going down because you felt there's no, no hope. But Jesus is the hope of glory. He's the hope of glory. So I just want to give him praise this morning. Give him a big clap. Come on. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, Lord. Somebody say praise the Lord. Come on. Somebody say Jesus. 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 Well, it might be powerful. And I can't go for that. So I pray this morning that everyone's spirit was esteem, redeem, was lifted up. Everyone's spirit. Because of what? Because of God and His word. Because of God and His word, which cannot be changed. Amen. But this morning I want to thank God. I want to thank God for everybody as we're about to come this morning. Thank